In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals 4x squared take away 5 over 3x plus 1. Now, the first thing you want to check is can you factorise that numerator? Now, it doesn't neatly factorise. I mean, we could write it using the difference of two squares as 2x take away root 5, 2x plus root 5. And that might be useful to do that. Don't have to. OK. Right. Let's draw our graph. Right, first of all, where is the vertical asymptote? That's at x equals minus a third when the denominator is zero. So x equals minus a third. OK. Right, then, where is it crossing the x-axis? That's when the numerator is zero. So that'll be at root 5 over 2 and minus root 5 over 2. So root 5 over 2 and minus root 5 over 2. OK. How about where it crosses the y-axis? That's when x is 0, so that's minus 5 over 1. So minus 5. Let's just bring this down a little bit further. OK. Now for the oblique asymptote. So we're going to divide numerator by denominator. So 3x, 3x plus 1. And we want 4x squared. OK, so 3x into 4x squared goes 4 thirds x. 4 thirds x times 1. Now, we don't want any x's, so I'm going to have to take away 4 thirds x. 3x into minus 4 thirds x goes minus 4 ninths. Minus 4 ninths times 1 is minus 4 ninths. And I need minus 5. Now 5 is uh, 45 ninths, so I've got to take away another 41 ninths. So that's my remainder. So this is equal to 4 thirds x, take away 4 ninths, take away 41 over 9 over 3x plus 1. Now I know that that can be simplified, but I don't need it at this point. Um, you know, if, if you wanted to simplify it, then we could write it as 4 thirds x take away 4 ninths, take away 41 over 9 lots of 3x plus 1, so 27x plus 9. You could write it like that if you wanted to. Or, you know, you could just have the 9 3x plus 1. Okay, depends what you need. Right, so y equals 4 thirds x take away 4 ninths is the oblique asymptote. Oh. Right, it's going to look something like this. Okay. So that is minus 4 ninths. And that... Um, it's four ninths, one ninth, just one third, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right, so now we're going to just double check whether the curve and the oblique asymptote intersect. So we're going to put the 4x squared take away 5 over 3x plus 1 equal to the 4 thirds x take away 4 ninths. OK. So multiplying up by the 3x plus 1, we're going to get 4x squared. And then take away 4 thirds x. Then 1 times that is plus 4 thirds x. And then take away 4 ninths. OK. So the 4x squareds go, the minus 4 thirds x and the 4 thirds x goes, and so you get left with minus 5 is equal to minus 4 ninths, which of course isn't true. So they don't intersect. And so our curve must do something like... something like that. And... 
something like that. Okay, and so that is what our curve must look like. 